Hi guys, Nikki here and welcome back to my home kitchen. So for today's recipe, we're going to be doing a coconut Thai chicken soup. So let's get started with the ingredients. So for the ingredients, I've got 750 grams of boneless chicken, one small onion sliced, three quarters of a cup of coriander leaves. I've got uh, four small stalks of lemongrass, a small piece of galangal, which is sliced, two scallions chopped, two cups of mushrooms chopped, one teaspoon of red Thai paste, Thai curry paste, 500 ml of coconut cream, three tablespoons of lime juice, three tablespoons of fish sauce, a few kaffir lime leaves, and uh, I've got a couple of red chilies here which I have de-seeded and sliced into thin strips, two, red, two green chilies which have been chopped, and one 400 ml can of coconut milk. So we've taken a medium-sized pan and uh, on high heat we're going to add in the coconut cream. coconut milk I'm also going to add in the sliced onions the lemongrass and the galango and the mushrooms as well as the green chilies. So we're gonna cook this here, let it simmer. We're gonna bring it up to a boil first and we're gonna let it simmer for about three to five minutes. So our soup has been simmering now for about five minutes. Next, I'm going to add in the chicken. I'm also going to add in the teaspoon here of curry paste. Going to give that a good mix. We're also going to add in about half of the green onions. It's gonna give that a good mix and we're gonna let this simmer for about 20 minutes. So our chicken soup here has been cooking for about 15 minutes. Next we're gonna add in the kaffir lime leaves. I'm also gonna add in the lime juice. Next we're gonna add in the fish sauce. Also going to add some of the coriander leaves here. We're just going to give that a mix and I'm also going to add in a little bit more water, about a cup. So I've just rinsed out the can here with the coconut cream and we're going to add it to the soup. Give that a mix and we're going to cook this for another 10 minutes or so. Our chicken coconut Thai soup has been cooking now for about 25 minutes. Now at this point I'm just going to turn off the stove and we're going to garnish it with some spring onions, some coriander and some of those sliced red chilies which we chopped up earlier. So let's get plating. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you next week with another video. Bye, guys.